can't do it. We pocket it up. Oh. Can't see, can't see, can't see. Go! Morning everyone. This is day one of Wales. Came up last night. Really pleased with the bike. It was slightly uncomfortable on the rear end, but other than that, it was a dream. I think I did 180, 190 miles yesterday, and I've still got 90 in the tank. Adaptive cruise on, brew time podcast on, good old teapot one, and plow through the miles. A real like absolutely perfect for what I wanted the bikes for. This isn't a bike review, is it? So I'll get back to Wales. We're a little bit overcast, a little bit drizzly as you'll probably see on the screen. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, so I'm hoping that'll clear up. So where we are at the moment, we've just stopped at the lower, like beneath Brecon Beacons basically. And that's where we stayed at a hotel back there, which was pretty decent to be fair. So plan of the day, we're heading to Baffle House. It's a nice little coffee shop that's sort of opened up recently. And uh, A, I love coffee. B, I love bikes. Apparently they've got some old school sort of vehicles in there as well. So yeah, we're heading to Baffle House and then we're going to head up to our first campsite. The campsite's in the middle of Wales. I can't remember any of the names. So what I'll do on my left or maybe my right, I'll put a map of where we're planning on going, the route. We're sort of heading up some of the better known biking roads. God, these roads are really challenging my morning ability to ride. <laughs> I think we're on the road for about seven hours. Then tomorrow we are planning to do a bit of sort of mid and north Wales. And then on Saturday we are doing the Snowdonia 360. It's almost like the Welsh version of the uh, North Coast 500 in Scotland. So we're going to give that a go. I've heard mixed reviews about it, but why not give it a go while we're here. Ladies and gents, this is Baffle House. I think they've only just opened, so... Why did the motorbike need coffee? Because it was too tired. <laughs> right, coffee time. Right, ladies and gents, we are slightly further north. We uh, stopped for fuel and got stuck in a load of roadworks. Uh, we have just on, what are we on? What's that? The Straddled Feld Day. That was Scottish, wasn't it? There's a German village further up north, and I can't remember where my dad says it is, but it's essentially a village that uh, they built in the Second World War, I think it was, to essentially replicate a German village for the soldiers to train in. Apparently it's still there. I don't think you can go into it, but you can stop outside it and stuff like that. Oh, I love this bike! Don't get me wrong, my tracer did really well and she hauled, uh, hauled my fat ass and all of my gear all the way up to Scotland and then flatted around Scotland for a while but uh, you could tell when you were asking a lot of her going up the hills this just like it powers up the hills like it's got nothing on it oh it smells like shite or as my granddad would say it smells fresh no granddad it smells like shit what a stunning view Oh, it's that jump. <laughs> yep, that's the jump. <laughs> so where are we? This is uh, that Blaine Layer Layer Forest or something. Oh, <laughs> this is beautiful. There's an old ruin down there. Don't know what that is. Wales, mate, you are treating me. Treating us. Beautiful scenery, sun's out, and roads like this. Or is it going to be a competitor for Scotland? Oh, I don't know. If you're not already aware, I've got um, a, I've got a bike-related or bike-dedicated Instagram. It was primarily started because I uh, I was pretty sure I was boring everyone on my personal Instagram with all my bike stuff <laughs> uh, but I'll try and get a load of photos because uh, I think one thing dad and I both said was we regret well maybe not regret but we wish we got more photos in Scott oh my god look at that what a view oh you can see for miles. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, that is incredible. What a view. Yeah, that was probably a better idea, wasn't it? Uh, the most unmajestic fucking thing ever. Uh, might have to copy that, you know. <laughs> oh. I, I properly was not expecting that. Right, we're going up to Spenny Bridge, sort of uh, Clandovery area. I really love these little towns. I think they're so quaint. Isn't there somewhere in Scotland called Spenny Bridge? Is that Speen Bridge? A Speen Bridge, isn't it, with a war memorial? This is a military testing ground. So I'll put in the name of it somewhere. Bloody windy being on top of this. Uh, I've got to say it. On top of the valley. Um, <laughs> that village up there. That's the German village that I was saying about earlier. So like the mock. German village that they use for training in World War Two. It looks awesome from here. It does look really German. So well done to those people who built it. Is the plural for sheep sheep or is it sheeps? All right. So annoyingly, all the roads that go into it. I don't know if you can see this sign down there, but it's no access to people that aren't military personnel. Real shame, but because um, it'd be awesome to be able to see that. Phone back on charge in the slot. This thing is so useful. Onwards and upwards. Well, Dad nearly just got taken out by some woman on that uh, military road. Some woman coming the other way in a Audi A4, and it was a 40 mile an hour limit uh, on the bit we were on at the time. And she must have easily been doing like 70, 80. Single carriageway. She came around the corner so quick that she started like four wheel drifting towards that. If she'd have lost control, which she looked like she was very close to, I don't think it'd be, there would have been much of us left. It's really odd because my, uh, my grandparents live in North Wales on my, uh, on my mum's side. I don't ever remember, I mean, I, I've been up there for years. Yeah, I don't remember the, the the scenery being this beautiful. Mind you, maybe I was uh, I was a lot younger, so maybe I wasn't really paying attention to it, or I wasn't as old as I am now. And I think, ah, oh, that's pretty. <laughs> the one thing I'm going to say so far is the uh, the Welsh love a speed camera and a speed limit. The, the amount of speed limits that just sort of could easily be like a 50 or 60 mile an hour like limit but are not, they're like 30s or 20s like this is a 40 in most places in the world this would be at least a 50 and this bit would be a 60 he says as he's going over the speed limit I know there are sheep on the road but still the point sort of still stands oh, i mean we've gone past a couple of mobile speed cameras now they love it i mean obviously the, the welsh people probably don't but the headlu the headlu lover speed camera i can't do welsh accents can you tell <laughs> oh look at that road that's probably why it's a 40. <laughs> That was a lot tighter than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, wow. Really, really wow. Really wow. I suppose the one benefit of this being a moronically slow speed limit, other than not killing sheep, you get real time to take in the views. Oh, I can't wait to get my bike unladen. 
just have to throw little squirts out of the corner. Squirting out of the corner. That's quite a lot of there. Hit the apex. Don't twat your head on the wall. Oh yes please, look at this road. Right, I think we're going to find somewhere to go for lunch now. But it's 20 past two and I'm getting a little bit hungry. We've just been stuck behind a uh, petrol lorry for the last 15 minutes. I think Dad's got a bit bored. <laughs> I have to say, his Tiger, although it's only 95 horsepower, doesn't half pick up. Itchy face. So we are whatever that says. Carrigel. We'd get in for doing it. There's too many consonants. It's almost like you're playing countdown and there's not enough vowels. What a great place to stop. You doorknob. Are these houses all just painted in a different colour? Do you reckon if you buy one of these houses you have to check with the neighbourhood before you decide what colour you're painting it? You do have to be careful with these little corners because you just, I mean, I was, going about, I was about to say there'll be a tractor around the corner. <laughs> there literally was a tractor around the corner. <laughs> I'm going to put you on. I'm definitely not going to be doing any speeding along here. bit of road oh sun's out man look Wee. oh do you know what as much as I loved my tracer I mean these roads are very similar to Scotland's ones and uh, it would have been so much better doing Scotland on this thing just having the confidence to throw it into a corner and not have the suspension bottom out and stuff oh, that was so good this is called the mountain road huh? a mountain, called mountain road mountain road an inventive name yeah. <laughs> oh look at that view his bike sounds really good really annoying we're meant to be going along to Elan Village, Elan Valley, going alongside the reservoir, which uh, leads you to where Richie Vida took his, took that display picture um, he's got on his Welsh trip of the bike on the rock. Sorry, Rich, if you're watching this, but I'm gonna try and get the same picture because <laughs> it looks cool. <laughs> and I thought we were doing that tomorrow or something because I was like, oh, we've been riding for hours and we've still not got there. <laughs> Dad's like, no, it's, not, it's today. It's just not, not got there yet. Maybe our seven something hours of uh, riding was too much for one day. Bloody Nora, look at those views. That's incredible. Look at the road. Can you see the road winding up there? Probably not, but is he going to do a picture? Because if he is, I'm proud. Picture. I can't believe these roads, they're absolutely fantastic. They're so good. And the surface is brilliant. That's the one thing, I was thinking about that earlier, that that's the one thing it's got over Scotland, is that the, the surface is so good, and it's so clear. And there's not too much gravel either. No. Oh, it looks like the road that we're going up might be closed. Right. Divert traffic. Okay. Or in Welsh, that's traffic way greatly on our that's a really nice road up there as well. Oh, is it? Yeah. That's, that's annoying. Oh. 
just as back wheel stepped out on the cattle grid. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> no. oh, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that coming around the corner. No. What are you looking at? Me? <laughs> Lucky we didn't come around there quick. Yeah. <laughs> what a fantastic day as well. I was saying, yeah, I was saying earlier that it's just been such a good day. Like even, I mean, I know this morning was a little bit drizzly, but... Careful. <laughs> Open it up again. Roads are a bit busy, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> if only they... Like, Whoa! Whoa! Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I was going to say, if you could see a little bit more around the corners and stuff, you could be a lot more confident throwing in, couldn't you? Well, like this. Look at uh, where we're going. Oh. These roads would be so good if I didn't have all my shit on the back of the bike. Yeah, we're going to really notice the difference when it all comes off tomorrow. Oh wow, look at that. Cattle <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>. grid. <laughs> oh, someone's had fun. You see all those skid marks? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, these roads are great. Does it say what road we're on? No, it's just uh Is it another unnamed it's road? It's an unnamed oh, road. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Jesus. And the sun. It's actually, I've turned my heated grips off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. So good. Hey. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, I know anti dive is working a dream, but <laughs> it still gets shoved in the back with all this luggage. <laughs> right, we've, uh, in theory, bypassed that um, uh, diversion. Perfect. Uh, as long as I can turn left over here. Which it looks like you can. Ooh. Don't fall down the sides, huh? <laughs> oh my god, this bike's so quick. <laughs> <laughs> We've had some corking trips, haven't we? We have been so lucky as well with we weather's been pretty damn good all the time yeah like apart apart from on the way back from scotland yeah i mean that was miserable but that's probably because we were on our way back so it was sad <laughs> yeah and you put your foot in it by saying i don't care if it rains on the way back <laughs> uh, these two days have been fantastic i would take it raining all the way back <laughs> three days later <laughs> i fucking hate rain <laughs> imagine living in that little valley down there be a bit lonely. <laughs> right, I think we're just about back on our route again. Yeah. Beautiful. So that road to the left should say closed. Which it does. Huh. Perfecto. Oh, we're better off for that one. You come over some of these brows and you have no idea where the road's going to go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got some windy roads coming up here. Oh, that won't come out on video. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and again. <laughs> I, I think if I actually went on the inside of that, I'd probably drop the bike or get my el elbow down. It's, it's such a shame these cameras don't pick up the gradient because that is just ridiculous. I think the only way of knowing how steep it is is listening to the engine trying to brake going down the hill. Yeah. And doing 40 mile an hour in second gear even though you're <laughs> engine braking the whole way.
Oh, what a bit of road. I love looking ahead and seeing the, where the road is going. It's just snaking off into the distance. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> this is when I get <laughs> get to the campsite and realise half my shit's fallen off because <laughs> I've just been pinning it over jumps. I think I've got everything still. <laughs> just got hope. Well, the, the only good thing is if you had to come back and find it. Oh no! <laughs> well, yeah, unless it's down there somewhere. <laughs> Look at this through here, it's stunning. So we're, oh that was the road down to um Trigonan. Trigonan? Trigonan. Yeah. That was uh that was one of the roads that um I read about that was meant to be really good. Yeah, I think it probably was. Yeah. <laughs> what we've decided to do is uh because it is half past six or twenty past six we're going to skip out the Elan Valley bit and the reservoir and we're going to tag that on to tomorrow's route. I think we're going to adjust the route a little bit just because by the time it's still an hour or so going direct to the campsite. So I think we're going to get there at half seven, eight or whatever. And if we do the Elan Valley way, that's going to be getting there at like nine, nine, half nine, something like that setting up a tent in the pitch black field at 9pm and not really having a chill out kind of thing before you go to bed. Next port of call is the campsite. My only concern is my bike said I've got 100 miles range left for the last 25, 30 miles or so and I have been riding a bit harder so I don't know whether that's broken <laughs> or it's uh, I've been riding more economically than I thought I was. I'm bringing you back for a very short moment. Just look at this. Like, what? Can you see all the hills and the mountains? What a cracking, cracking place. speechless. Fair play Wales, you've been hiding this very well. Very, very well. Anyway, now I'll go. Bye!